I would like to comment on the Russia-Africa summit that took place on 27 and 28 July 2023 in St. Petersburg, Russia, under the auspices of Russian President Vladimir Putin. For me, I think it's a good idea for Africa to choose its own friends and business partners. But what I would like our African leaders to note is that you cannot continue to do the same thing and expect different results. What African leaders should do in order not to commit the same error or mistake again as they move towards Russia and China as trading partners and friendship are as follows. One, unite as one continental bloc with one voice and one purpose. Have one foreign policy and one economic policy. Two, organize and price their natural resources to benefit its people. Three, harness Africa continental market to their advantage. Four, build one military force for defense and protection. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah once said, Africans speak different languages, such as English, French, Portuguese, Dutch, etc., etc. But we are all Africans. We are all Africans fighting for Africans' independence, fighting for Africans' unity, and fighting for Africans' future. Dr. Nkrumah also reminded his colleagues, freedom fighters, in the early 60s that imperialism does not change its nature. It only changes its fronts. So today, as Africa is moving towards Russia and China, they should note that imperialism does not change its nature. It only changes its fronts, so they should be careful. He further advised and proposed a union government consisting of one foreign policy, one economic policy, one currency, one military power, and one continental market, even one language. Dr. Nkrumah also caution his colleagues that if they fail to unite under one union government, the continent Africa will be doomed forever. And that the continent Africa could only be doing the bidding for the West and any other industrialized nation. Africa will only be a source of raw materials for other countries. And this could prevent Africa from developing its own independent African policy, which will prevent Africa from realizing its aspirations and development for its people. Dr. Nkrumah also told his colleagues that those who could not see the need for a union government at the time could only be suffering from intense myopia. So today, as African leaders are shifting the goalposts towards China and Russia, they should rid themselves of the intense myopia and unite under one union government, which could have a voice and negotiate for the benefit of African people. Thank you for listening and watching. Like, follow comment and share. Bye.